Miss Bloom, we're going to pick up where we left it off. You may continue recounting the events of that night. Okay. I was saying that Roy was going to rape me. Judge. Sustained. Abigail, you can go on. Okay. After I pushed Roy off of my body, he came back at me from behind and grabbed my hair and pulled me back into the room where the couch was and pulled me down on top of him. I screamed and I kicked and I clawed at him and I even got free once and tried to crawl away, but he pulled me back by one of my legs and I kept trying to break free, but he somehow got a hold of me. I even tried to kick him in the groin, but he grabbed me and he threw me around the room. And then he knocked me down and I tried to grab for the doorknob, but he picked me up and he pinned me against the door. Somehow I got free from him and I tried to run down the alley, but he caught me and he dragged me back to the room and he slammed me up against the wall and he started kissing me. This was when I noticed that there was a metal tool lying nearby and then he started touching my face with his dirty fingers and so I bit him on the hand and it must have hurt him because he doubled over and that's when I went for the tool and I ran and I tried to keep him away from me with this tool and I threw it at him and then I tried to get away again but he came after me and he grabbed my hair again and He must have pulled me really hard because I fell. I'm sorry. I don't remember. I don't remember anything after that. Your Honor, may we have a recess so the witness can collect herself? We'll take a break. Fifteen minutes. You may step down. All rise. in about, uh, I'd say, a few minutes, okay? I am so sorry. I didn't think you were testifying until later. I wasn't. The, the morning session went much faster than we thought. Uh, okay, we're already halfway through, and she's doing beautiful. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't do so very well at the end there. I kind of lost it. The whole courtroom lost to that. Everybody was moved to tears. Abby, I mean, excuse me, the jury was in tears. I'll be right back. Okay. This has been so hard for you. I, I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't here. No. I have to explain something to you, why I ran out of here so fast the other day. It's a long story, but it has a, a good ending. I found my sister. You found her? You found your sister? Yes, it's so hard to believe. I can't. I am so happy Abby, to hear this. Abby, this is an omen, you know. It, it, it's a sign from, from God that, that we're survivors. You're going to get through this. And it's just going to mean that there's good times ahead for all of us. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. You know, I'm working part-time. You're not going <laughs> to... You Here you go. Thanks. Thanks. Don't you... you can... Oh, I'll just put this back. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't... Uh, oh, I didn't mean to snap at you. I am really trying, you know. Are you? Yeah. I can't do any better than this. I'm getting the feeling that you don't really want to. I want to be somebody. Hell, anybody will do. Except, 
except for the man you used to be. I want to be the man you want me to be. It's just that I... Like this morning, you made breakfast. You made me ham and eggs. It was to be my favorite. I, I didn't like it. Well, I'm a lousy cook. <laughs> and I, I'm supposed to be proud of this place. I don't feel any of that. I, I, I guess I hoped I was a guy with bigger dreams. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. I didn't mean it that way. I believe you. I mean, apparently Buzz had to learn to love this place. I guess I'll just have to learn all over again. That's what I'm trying to help you to do. Yeah, well, you try, I try. We all try, don't we? Mm-hmm. But, um, nothing here is real for me, you see. Mm-hmm. I mean, only thing that's real for me is the baby you're carrying. I, it doesn't make any sense to me, but that's the only thing that's real. I mean, I don't... I don't know jack about who I am. But that baby, I help make it. Maybe if I get to know the baby, I get to know more about myself. Buzz, uh, this baby that I'm Look, carrying. Yes. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'll go take a tour of the kitchen. Maybe a, a rusty <laughs> pot or something. No, Jog Buzz, my I, 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 Look, I do. I'm sorry. But this, as a man's life's work, it's just, It's not much, you know? It's not much at all. You know, it's not helping if you're always hanging around Buzz. I'm not hanging around all the time. Doesn't look like you're doing so great yourself. Hey, Dan. Dad? Hmm? What are you looking at? Uh, nothing, just these... No offense, but these pots and pans, I don't know how you stand this. <laughs> How I stand it is, uh, well, our family made this, Dad. I mean, I'm, I know. it may not look like much, but, uh... I know, I know. Pops in the push cart. I just, uh, doesn't cut it with me. It doesn't cut it for you. Well, you know what? It cut it long enough for you to save it in a fire. I was told about that, but I don't remember it. And I'm glad I don't. All right, Nola. I think it's time to take the gloves off, don't you? I wasn't sure what I thought the truth was in the beginning, but now I think I'm absolutely certain. You're responsible for the flowers, the cookies, the frame, breaking into our home. You obviously were going after Buzz. Maybe you still are, but the fact is you've ruined his life. What happened up at the cabin was an accident. At least I told him the truth. Truth? What, what truth did you tell him? I know that Buzz is not the father of the baby you're carrying. What are you getting at, Lola? Please, please don't try to deny it because I heard you say it. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. So, day after day, as Buzz 